Welcome to the Cambridge IGCSC Mathematics Paper 4 for the extended candidates. And this is the October-November paper for the year 2024. So if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share for more episodes like this. All right, question 3a says the table shows the waiting times for 120 patients at a medical center. So this is the table that is showing this information. So the question continues and says, calculate an estimate of the mean waiting time. All right, so how are you going to calculate the estimate of the mean waiting time? So what you have to know is that since this data has been given in intervals, it means this is grouped data. So to calculate the waiting mean time, we are going to say mean is equal to, we are going to write the frequency to open, open and close brackets plus the second frequency is 46, open and close plus uh, 33. Okay, this is 33. Open and close plus 26. Open and close plus 13 open and close okay then everything divided by the total frequency which is 120 so 120 there all right so at this point the question is what are we going to put in the brackets all right so what we're going to put in the brackets here is the midpoint okay so we need to find the midpoint of each class interval and then put it in these brackets according to their respective uh, frequencies so the midpoint is, is found by adding the lower limit and the upper limit then divide by 2 so we're going to say 0 plus 10 is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 okay then here 10 plus 20 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 here 20 plus 40 is 60 divided by 2 is 30 40 plus 50 is 90 divided by 2 is 45 then 50 plus 80 is 130 divided by 2 is 65 so these are the midpoints that we are going to write in here okay so uh, 2 has a corresponding midpoint of 5 so we write 5 in there then here we write 15, then here we write 30, then here we write 45, then there 65. Alright, at this point in time, you just get your calculator and punch everything that is on top there on the calculator as it is. Okay, so when you punch what is on top there on the calculator, you are going to have 3000. Uh, 705 then divided by 120 okay so 3705 divided by 120 is 30.875 uh, so writing this number correct to three significant figures we are going to have 30.9 as the estimated mean waiting time right all right but b says the histogram shows some information about the waiting times at a different medical center so this is a histogram so they are saying the total number of patients is 90 so this is the total frequency and no patient waits for more than 80 minutes okay so we can see that uh, no patient wait, waits more than uh, 80 minutes uh, complete the histogram for the patients that have a waiting time between 10 and 30. Okay, so uh, they want us to complete this histogram for the patients that have a waiting time between 10, okay, between 10 and 30. So here, okay. All right, so what is the first thing that we are supposed to do? The first thing that we are supposed to do is to find the frequency so that we use that frequency to find the frequency density we are going to use the formula 
frequency density okay frequency density is equal to frequency divided by class width okay so this is the formula that we are going to use since we are looking for the frequency first we are going to rearrange this formula such that uh, f or the frequency f is the subject of the formula we can do this by just multiplying both sides of this equation by the denominator which is class width and then we are going to have frequency is equal to uh, frequency density times uh, the class width okay uh, the class width the class width like this so after writing this formula like this we need to know the frequency density for each bar okay we need to know how much how the width of this bar also there also there okay so what we are going to do is uh, uh, you can see that the di the difference from here to there and the di difference from here to there is the same so what we are going to do is we are going to find it to, you are going to say 0 0.5 minus 0 is 0 0.5 so that we find the width of each uh, graduation so that we find how much is the width of each graduation from here to there okay so 0 0.5 5 minus 0 is 0 0.5 so we have uh, 0 0.5 okay then you count a number of graduations you have 1 2 3 4 5 there when you count here you have uh, 10 graduations so you are going to divide this by 10 and this gives 0 0.05 so each of these smaller graduations is worth 0 0.05 Meaning, when you count in twos, you have 0 0.1. All right? So, using this, we can know what this point is worth of. Okay? So, this is 1. So, let's be counting in twos so that we have 0 0.1. Because uh, 1 graduation is worth uh, 0 0.05. So, meaning 2 is worth 0 0.1. So, we're going to have 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 so this guy here is worth 1.3 then coming to this one we have uh, we know that this is one okay you know that this is one then 1 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.3 1 1.4 1.5 so this is 1.5 okay then this one we know that this is uh, okay so 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 so this bar is worth 0 0.4 all right so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to multiply from here to there this is now the class width from here to there okay so from here to there is 10 so we're going to say the frequency density which is uh, 1.3 so we're going to say 1.3 times the class width is 10 here the difference is 10 so 10 which is which gives 13 so we'll come to this okay so the frequency density here okay so we're going to say f is equal to uh, 1.5 so 1.5 times uh, the class width is from 30 to 50 which is 20 here okay so this is times 20 and this gives 30 okay so let us also find the frequency for this guy so we have frequency is equal to the frequency density the frequency density is this one 0 0.4 times uh, the class width from here to 80 we have 10 20 30 times 30 and this gives 12 all right but remember they say the total frequency is what is 90 so for us to find the frequency for the missing bar here we are going to say 90 which is the total frequency minus the frequencies that we've we found this one okay minus 13 plus 30 plus 12 okay so we have 90 minus 13 plus 30 plus 12 is 55 okay is 55 and 
this gives the answer as 35 okay so this is the this is the frequency for the missing bar here all right now for us to draw the missing bar here we need to know the frequency density okay so that's when we are going to use this formula now to say frequency density is equal to the frequency of this missing the one that we found here which is 35 divided by the class width so we are going to say frequency density is equal to uh, frequency over the class width and uh, yeah so the frequency is 35 we found 35 divided by the class width the class width from here to there this is uh, 10 20 so it's 20 so we have 20 there and then uh, 35 divided by 20 is 1.75 all right so meaning the frequency density for this missing bar here of this histogram is 1.75 so here we have 1.5 so we are still counting in twos so this is 1.6 1.7 point 0.5 is going to be at the middle there so 0.5 at the middle so meaning here okay so we are going to to draw it like this okay you use the ruler i don't the, uh, the recording software i'm using is not doesn't have that feature okay so you use the ruler so now you just check so this is the missing bar that they wanted you to draw so it means you have completed this histogram all right thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel again please consider to subscribe hit the like button comment and share yeah see you in the next video goodbye